Susan Boyle has paid an emotional tribute to her loyal friend Paul O'Grady following his tragic death. TV presenter and comedian Paul, who aged 67 on Tuesday evening. The comedian was known for presenting TV shows such as The Paul O'Grady Show, For the Love of Dogs, and Blankety Blank, which he hosted as his drag act, Lily Savage. His partner, Andre Portasio, described his passing as unexpected but peaceful. Mr. Portasio confirmed the news during the early hours of Wednesday morning, issuing the following statement, It is with great sadness that I inform you that Paul has passed away unexpectedly but peacefully yesterday evening. We ask, at this difficult time, that whilst you celebrate his life you also respect our privacy as we came to terms with this loss. He will be greatly missed by his loved ones, friends, family, animals and all those who enjoyed his humor, wit and compassion. I know that he would want me to thank you for all the love you have shown him over the years. Following the news of her friend's sudden passing, former Britain's Got Talent star Susan, 61, took to Facebook to remember the much-loved comedian as she shared the last ever snap of the pair. Susan revealed that she had last seen Paul only the week before his sudden death, with the pair posing in a wholesome photo together after bumping into one another in Edinburgh. The I Dreamed a Dream hit maker said that she never would have thought that this was good by the last night she spoke with Paul. Alongside the joyful photo of the two stars posing alongside one another, Susan Bent, Paul, you were one in a million, kind, funny, and a loyal friend. When I saw you last week in Edinburgh, never would I have thought that this was goodbye. Sending love to Andre and your family. I will miss you. Susan also shared a throwback snap of the pair at a Save the Children event where they were both pictured smiling as they conducted an interview. The singer's heartfelt tribute comes after Paul's sudden death sent shockwaves through the showbiz world following his stellar career in the industry. Fans and peers of the presenter paid their respects, calling him witty, compassionate and kind. ITV presenter Lorraine Kelly described O'Grady as a really special man in an online tribute. Such sad news. Paul O'Grady, funny, fearless, brave, kind and wise, she said. Will be sorely missed. A really special man. Carol Vorderman tweeted, Paul O'Grady. Already giving them raucous, ripping up the rule book, mischief making, calling it out, loving hell in heaven. Paul, what are we meant to do without you? Amanda Holden said, woken up to this sad, sad news. I loved Paul. He was brilliantly opinionated, searingly sharp and very funny. I loved our conversations. I can't quite believe it. Thoughts with Andre and their family. Piers Morgan tweeted, R.I.P. Paul O'Grady, 67. A wonderfully warm, mischievous, hilarious guy with a sublime natural talent for broadcasting and making people laugh. Susanna Reid said on Good Morning Britain, he was so funny and so compassionate and so loving. While human rights campaigner Peter Tatchell gushed, Paul wasn't just a brilliant comedian and broadcast personality but a much admired campaigner for LGBT plus equality and animal rights. He supported my work for many decades and was a valued patron of the Peter Tatchell Foundation. Paul was planning to lead our forthcoming campaign for the police to apologize for their historic persecution of the LGBT plus community. We will miss him. Our sincere condolences to his partner Andre and to all who loved him. 
Paul was one of the loveliest people you could ever meet. Everyone whose lives he touched will miss him greatly, as will those who enjoyed his wit and admired his compassion. i